This is the guy at George Outdoors. And in this video, we're gonna be showing you how we go after the redfin pike, what we're looking for in an area where we've never uh, fished for them, what we're looking for, what kind of lures. And one of the most common videos that I get comments on is asking me questions are the redfin pike videos. So in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, in a new area where I've never fished before and we're actually on my farm. That uh, on the edge of that clear cut all the way down, is a creek and we're going to be walking from one into the next and even though i've owned this property i've never fished there for ref and pipe we're using a uh my omega a uh, four foot ten b and m it's called the 410 rod awesome rod because you got to have something short for getting in there and a uh, red rooster tail if you would hit that subscribe button really helps us out almost 10k subs and that's a uh, big milestone for us but it really helps us out if you would uh, hit that subscribe button this video is not going to have fancy edits fancy music this is going to be showing you what we're looking for when we're fishing had a bite right there another bite another bite what is it nice little warm mouth first catch of the day really only our second cast right here on the side of the road um, a little fat fish that tells you they're eating good this is not after our uh, not really our target species we're after the old elusive redfish not redfish red fin we're gonna work this little area just for a few minutes we'll go a little deeper Usually don't go deeper on other people's property, but I actually happen to own this property right here, so I don't mind coming. Caught a limb. Had a couple of hits, but nothing, nothing major. I'm gonna give it a couple more casts here. We're gonna move on to some other pockets. There he is, right there, right there, right there. Look at that right there. That is a tiny one, but they're in here. Right, there's tiny ones there'll be small ones but there you go that is a red fin pike and that's even small by red fin pike standards i'll be honest but we're gonna gently return him back but that's what we come for you see the little red fins right there i've heard numerous people say that you can catch one cut the fins off put that on a hook and just wiggle it around they'll bite that so they like anything red All right, we are actually at the back of my property. And this is a, uh, a beaver pond, kind of a duck hole. And I have no clue if there's fish in here. I mean, no clue at all. I've never fished here once in my life. I know there's ducks, but I don't know anything about fish. This pond's only been here for a couple of years, so may not even be here long enough to be stocked with any number of fish but looking right here in my opinion it's kind of like some type of bed some type of fish bed and this water boy is it warm compared to that creek so if there was a red fin he'd be loving this There may not be a single fish in here, but we're gonna try. Boy, right there, had a bite right there. Oh, I think he hit me twice. Apologize if that sun is right in the eyes. I'm trying to do my best here. There he is, what is it, what is it? Old brim, or bluegill. It's amazing how bluegill makes its way all the way back here. All the way back here to the duck hole. I got a ladder stand somewhere right behind me where I like to hunt. Here we are. This looks like a A1 place to step up on a big old snake or something. I seem to find myself in places like this way too often see if i can maneuver my feet into this hole without sinking in number one 
not getting bit by a rattlesnake. Number two, and I think I kind of put those in the wrong order. There we go. What we got? Another little fish, another bluegill or something. A kind of a muted color. That's actually is that a red breast? I believe it's a red breast. Could be like a uh, a green sunfish. I'm gonna need y'all to comment below. I believe that's just a small kind of a muted color red breast. Kind of pushed her way up in here from the creeks. Got stuck in here with the little beaver dam right there. But that's pretty cool. It's already four fish we've caught just just on my property. There we go. I love reeling down the side of a log. Anything's hiding under it. Right there. What did I call that one or not? That was like a little another red breast and muted color. But I sure called that one. Anytime I see a log like that, I love reeling down it because those uh, those fish like to hang out under there, get in the shade, kind of dark, and when stuff, when bugs fall out these trees on the water, pick them off when something swims by, kind of ambush. At the end of the day, they are ambush predators. But you can tell this is just nasty old stagnant mud. I'm sinking into my shins every time. Good place to get a leech. But this water's got little, literally no flow to it. But this might be the might be the spot. We'll see what we can do here. We're in between two dams. This is about a hundred yard stretch of creek in between two beaver dams. And this little body of water seems to be holding. I have one little bite right there. If I had to guess, I would say a small undersized redfin. It's just my guess. He hit it again. See that right there? You just hit those minnows or something down there that is a little bit higher up the food chain feeding around See if i can get him ticked off good enough to he bumped it right there i seen him that was a red fin and he was a decent size he was at least uh probably six inches i seen him he just for some reason or another there he is there he's got him got him. oh man i missed him he was he was a decent size. Now, that's not a big red fin. I've caught them bigger, but that would probably be about an average, in my opinion. And I'm probably not going to get another hit at that one. But now I know where this spot is. I can easily come back to it in a uh, few days. Maybe we could pick up a couple. We've got some good water right here. If you watch the channel any, my nephew killed a really nice eight point this past year, right, right out in that opening right there. He was excited. We killed him several deer this year. There he is. Well, he hit me. My phone's dead. My wife's probably wondering where I'm at. But you know what? Being out here with no no interruptions, nobody disturbing you. Don't get much better than that. There he is. There he is. Oh, I was hoping that'd be a. Uh, I was hoping that'd be a redfin, but that's an old little warmouth. Little guy surviving down there. Had a couple hits. Let's see if there's another one down there. Right there. Right there. Look right there. Just when all hope was about over, finally landed an average size red fin. That's him. I'd still say that's kind of slightly on the smaller side. 
but these fish have really really f uh, fine scales and you can't really even tell that they have scales but you just wash them off gut them fry them whole just cut the head off and you just eat it you can almost eat the bones and all in there just eat it all so that's that's good i'm gonna see if i can gently remove this hook when i say sharp i'm talking razor sharp teeth sharper than the hook i was able to I was able to gently get that hook out see how big their mouth is and uh, they got some razor sharp teeth look at that mouth right there that's pretty impressive for a fish that size we're gonna get him back in this water and there he goes he will live to be caught another day and that is exactly what I came for that's uh second that I've caught one that I had was not quite in my hands and he came off so just a simple Thursday afternoon. See, stretches like this, you might as well just go ahead and pick your rod up and get to walking. You ain't gonna catch nothing in a place like this. You need a little bit more water. They like shallow water, but maybe not that shallow. Right, see, and then you get to a little spot like this. And I don't know that this is gonna have a fish in it, but definitely looks a lot more promising than past 100 yards and then you get hung on the first cast that right there just completely summarized redfin pike fishing and that right there did too getting hung up right there over your head as soon as you cast one little twig big as a toothpick kept you from casting get you ticked off yeah. one of my favorite places in the entire world to fish not really fish but to be not because of of the fish here but because this is the creek right here where my kids play nearly every day during the summer month as long as there's water in the creek they're down here swimming my nieces my nephew all been down here Grew up down here. Oh, I had a bump right there. It'd be really cool to catch me a nice red fin right here. That would be the perfect wrap up of a evening. You gotta make a good cast to get there. And look at that right there. There we go. Cut it off. Right there. Right there. That's a, probably the biggest fish I've caught all day. And that is a stump knocker. A stump knocker in the swimming hole. Tell me that's not cool. That is, that's why you make the payments. That's why you walk around. That's why you do what you do. That's an old stump knocker right there. He's actually, there's been times where I've been fishing in the river where my brother would keep fish smaller than that. Pretty fish. And I'd say this is almost like the catch of the day. I did come for redfin. But that's almost a catch of the day right there. And this is the swimming hole. You see my kids' toys. Caught him right there. So we're going to let this fish go. If you watch any of my hunting and fishing content, you've seen me cross this creek a hundred times. In fact, one time you see me carrying my buddy Josh across on my back to go kill a turkey. And we did. So this is... Pretty cool that I'm doing this right here. We're gonna go back in there for another couple more casts because I know there's at least one more red fin in there. There he is. My goodness, what is that? Oh, that was a red breast. He hit that thing hard. And I'm getting tangled up. I know there's gotta be one red fin in there. There he is. Redfin. Oh, I seen him. I seen him. I think he'll hit it again. That would be like the ultimate catch right here. The ultimate wrap up right there. He was a, he hit it. He hit it right there. Well, I just got excited about that. But yeah, that was a redfin. 100% saw him. He was a decent size. Right there. Right there. Got a fish, but I don't think that is what 
that ain't, that ain't the one. I can promise you that ain't the one. But there we go. Another red fin. Right here in the swimming hole. You, uh, you viewing this are not going to appreciate it like I do. I can promise you that. Because if you look around, you'll see footprints of my five-year-old and three-year-old girl. This is a place where I grew up fishing, never knew I was going to own it. And now I'm catching small, but one of the coolest fish in the entire planet right here on it. Well, overall, pretty successful trip. Um, ended up catching three or four redfin, missed three or four, caught some good fish. And like I said, just right there. So that's kind of special catching them on your own farm. But I hope you enjoyed this video and get out there. I guarantee you there's redfin close to you somewhere if you live in the uh, warmer parts of the country. And just get out there in these little creeks where you wouldn't think there'd be a redfin. They're actually there. So get you a lure, something red. They love them. Get out there and catch them. But until the next video, hit that subscribe button. This has been the unofficial, no doubt incomplete guide, George Outdoors.